Hello, everyone. Thank you for being here this afternoon. We are first going to hear, I'm just going to jump straight in to give him plenty of time. So we are first going to hear from Peter Patel Schneider about barriers to using Wikidata as a knowledge base. Thank you. Um, I'll skip over the abstract because you've already seen it all. And I should say a little bit about myself. Um, I'm more of a, much more of a user of Wikidata than an actual editor of Wikidata, and much more of a user of Wikidata than somebody who contributes to Wikidata. But I very much believe in the aims of Wikidata. In particular, it aligns with my research areas, which is knowledge representation, at least in a certain sense. I worked in description logics for a long time, worked with W3C. I worked in Silicon Valley for a while, largely building what might be called knowledge graphs, but I don't like the term knowledge graphs. I don't like what they mean. I want to do something better than knowledge graphs. Um, and I want to put this together from various sources. So Wikidata is a very, very good one, but DBpedia eh, is not so good. Freebase is dead. Um, OpenStreetMap, Open Movie Database, things like that. And then I want to use this store of knowledge to do something, right? And I want to use it as the source of knowledge to do something. Um, and not only just facts, but also organizing my knowledge. And currently, working where I am, we are interested in supporting conversational agents. Not just things that let you play um, Avatar, but let you play the movie that was, that's directed by the wife of the director of Avatar. Okay? So how can we build a conversational agent that will do something like that? Well, you need to know all the facts that go beyond, behind it, but you also need to know that the fact that there are movies, not just we have Avatar, but that we have movies. We need to know things about movies. We need to know things about um, directorships. We know to think, need to know things about humans, that they're married to each other. We need to know that there are men and women in the world and somehow be able to use this knowledge of what we're saying to come up with the actual reference to these things and then actually do what we were asked to do. Um, so that's one end. Um, the other thing that we want to be able to do is if you think of systems like Siri, there are hundreds or thousands, actually maybe Siri is not the best example, uh, Amazon, the Amazon system has hundreds, and th hundreds or thousands of little programs that will do something for you. And the problem that we're interested in is how do you pick which one can do something? So for example, um, which backend can find me train trips between San Francisco and Palo Alto? Right? There, are many, there may be many systems that will try and sell me train tickets, but only one or perhaps two of them will sell me that particular train ticket. And how do I get the system to do that without having to be able to tell it that I want a Caltrain ticket? Right. Um, so what happens is I want to use Wikidata as a lot as the source of a lot of this stuff, and I regularly run into problems. And from those problems, I have a bunch of suggestions. Okay. Um, you may agree with my suggestions or disagree with them. Some of them are kind of on their way to being implemented in Wikidata, some of them aren't. Right. So I'm going to do this talk from the back forward. I'm going to give you the summary, and then an expansion of the summary, and then some rationale for my, for, for my suggestions. And the reason I'm going to do that is if I started with all of the rationale, I might never get to the end, and the end is the important thing, at least in my, my viewpoint. So my biggest suggestion, I guess, on the community side is, gee, guys, speak with a single voice. Uh, <laughs> and speak with a voice where I can find it, right? So it turns out that one of my suggestions was actually, is actually implemented, but I only found out about it today because it's not used very much at all, and it's hard to find it, right? So I really want you guys and me too in some sense, to spend some effort at the beginning when you're creating these classes and other things that are important so that a poor user like me who can't afford to go through five years of impassioned discussion to find out what mail actually is um, can actually use it in our system, right, in my system. Um, so that's sort of on the community side. 
I'm a formalist. I really want to, and my programs are dumb. Right? I don't write smart programs. I write dumb programs. No, they turn to be very fancy dumb programs. But these dumb programs can't really handle all of the shades of everything that you have with start time, end time. Inception. I want to have some formal, simple formal mechanism that will tell my program what's true now or what's true in 1987, without having to search through a bunch of things and make a bunch of guesses and use a lot of heuristics or have a machine learning program that's done for this particular task. I just want you to tell me this stuff somehow and have it take. All right. So I want to be able to look at something which says. What the things I see in Wikidata actually mean,、right. and I don't find that these days.、Right. And then, of course, once we have that, I want somebody—I'm willing to do some of this work—build tools that actually use that formal description and say, "Tell me, for example,、um, if I'm an instance of architectural structure like the Eiffel Tower." Am I a geographic location? I don't know. I mean, Wikidata doesn't tell me whether this is true or not. I can find nowhere in Wikidata that will do that, because there's no formal thing. But once you give me a formal thing, then I'm going to write a tool which essentially gives the implications of what the formal things are.、Right. The other thing that others, the fourth suggestion is about bots.、Um, bots are great. Bots have Ultimate power, and as has been said,、uh, with ultimate power comes ultimate responsibility. And I don't believe that bots get very much responsibility for the things that they do. And they need to have. We need to be able to control the bots and figure out what they've done wrong. And essentially, once a bot makes a thousand mistakes, we want to undo that once, as opposed to undoing that a thousand times. Of course, as I said, these are my suggestions. Other people may have different suggestions. I'm coming at it from a user viewpoint.、Um, I suppose I could say something like, "I'm coming at it from a binary viewpoint." I mean, this is a program that really wants yes or no answers. It doesn't understand much in shades of gray, right? So I really like you to tell me what's true and what's not true, right? So, so. That's the end of the talk, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> And let me—I I sort of expanded on some things, but let me. Oops, where are we here? Yes. So here, let me expand upon the things that I said. So formally, I want you to—I want—I want a logic. I want really want a logic for Wikidata because that lets me know what Wikidata means to me, right? I don't want to have data structure with some sort of English description somewhere that tells me something. I want a formal statement of what this is, and maybe it produces the wrong answers, in which case we fix it. But at least we know what the answers are supposed to be, as opposed to having to go through、um, uh, five or ten different pages of people arguing with each other what this particular part of Wikidata means. So, in particular, I want to use. I want you to. I want to have things that will. I think are useful, like disjointness. I, I want Wikidata to say that rocks aren't humans, right?、Um, to pick an example, right?、Um, now, there's lots of that stuff in Wikidata at the moment. There's lots of this opposite from things. But what does it mean?、Uh, somebody is an opposite. What was there was something this morning about transgender. Man is the opposite of transgender woman.、Uh, yes, in some sense, but what sense are they opposites? Right? They're not. It's not a logical sense. It's something else. Right?、Um, I want to give definitions of classes, and to give an example, I would very much like Wikidata to say that woman is adult female human. Right? Because. If I query Wikidata, and this is going to the end, and I ask how many women are in Wikidata, I get any guesses? Less than men. 37. Less than men. 37 instances of women in Wikidata. 37. Right. That's obviously wrong. Obviously, obviously, obviously wrong. I know it. You know it. But my program doesn't know it. Right. 
my program says 37. Well, it's not zero, so it might be right. It, you know, um, I would much prefer I would much prefer there to be something on woman that says, hey. If you're trying to figure out the women in Wikidata, don't look at the things that are stated to be instances of women. Look at things, well, a Sparkle query or something like that. Find all of the humans. Find the female one, the ones with sex, with sex or gender, which is female or female-ish. That's kind of difficult in there. And then the ones that are adult, whatever adult means. So at least that's a definition. We can argue whether it's the right definition or not. But we get a number which is not 37. Much better than 37. Um, and so I want this so that we can actually come up with answers to some of these questions. All right. So, and again, tools. I would really like to have tools that show implications of claims, right? So the shows that the Eiffel Tower is a location. Whether it is or not in the real world is somehow kind of irrelevant. We can argue whether the Eiffel Tower is a location or has a location. Philosophers probably have argued for decades over whether this is the case or not. I don't care. Just come up with an answer that makes at least a little bit of sense, and I'll be happy. Right. Um, so I want a tool that will do that. I want essentially a tool that will tell me what's true at a particular time. Right. So um, how big is the RLC? <laughs> it's certainly not 22,000 square miles. Right. It's much, much smaller than that, right? But the, the claims on the Errol C are historical claims, right? What's true now, right? I um, mean, I think, I'll look at this, 3,000 square miles. Anyway, it's a, mere, it's a mere puddle of its former self, you might say, right? Um, I would also like tools that help in cleaning the data, right? So where do, what are inconsistencies? Is there something that's both a rock and a human, right? Well, right now, is that a problem in Wikidata? Well, there are these constraint mechanisms, but they're kind of weak, and they're not used very well in many places. So I would really like to have some way, some tool which essentially says, no, right? <laughs> you can't have a rock and a human, right? You can have perhaps a human and a Klingon, but rocks and humans just no, right? OK, now, um, hmm. There's an si old science fiction story called The God Makers, where they take a rocket made and make it into a god. So maybe a rock could be a person in that sense. But human, no. Okay. Hmm? Uh, you were, are you asking for our no, I'm not asking for exhaustive decompositions, right? Okay. Just, just junctions. I mean, in some sense, in some... It's, in what? That's what? No. Well, I mean, sort of, you mean, not logically. So, the question is whether we can actually, can have exhaustive definitions, exhaustive disjunctions? Well... Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, to, to say that rocks are disjoint, disjoint from humans is easy, but to do yeah. that in all the cases you're going to want it is... It's computation, yeah. yes. Now, now we have a problem with computational costs, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, the, comp no, the, the computational cost of deciding it for Wikidata as it exists right now, right, is, is not impossible, it's just computationally non-trivial, right? So given that the query service is running out of oomph, right? So to do this right requires tools that, re that actually think a little bit, right? And that's going to require computation. How much computation? Well, it's not the heat death of the universe. It's tomorrow, perhaps, or two seconds from now. But two seconds times how many million things are in Wikidata is getting to be a reasonably big number right now. One of the things you can do is this thing doesn't have to be completely run in one thing. You can farm out these stuff, you can farm these out into other systems, right? You could, you know, we don't have to have everything all in one computer, right? And of course, and of course Google just gave us the answer, right? We can just put it on this new Google quantum computer and it'll do everything for us, right? Yeah, but it sounds like you're asking for OWL. And no. Well, I'm asking <laughs> for a part of that. You've owl. been asking for a lot of things about <laughs> OWL, and that just is not possible. That's why Wikidata works, is because it's not OWL. There um, are actually things that you can compute. So with. I'm, I am asking for a bigger part of OWL, right? Not all of it, right? Yeah. 
Yeah. Well, I mean, so the question is, are you going to, is Wikidata going to spend the effort to buy another perhaps 10 computers to, to crunch away on this permanently, or is it going to spend the effort of having a whole bunch of people argue about it or whatever, right? And my view is computers are dirt cheap, right? I mean, if, I mean, I'm willing to pony up some of my own, very own money to buy Wikidata and another computer to, to do this stuff, right? Because I think it's important, right? Uh, yes. <laughs> I didn't say I would give it to Wikimedia Foundation. <laughs> <laughs> right. Um, but yes, no, I am, I'm not asking for things that are trivial, right? I'm asking for things that require compute power, that require intellectual power, that require the community to do things, right? Now, the community is doing some of these things. I found out that there's, there's this property which essentially says, hey, here's how you're supposed to use this thing, right? I forget the exact name of it. User instructions. I thought it was three words. Whatever. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, it it essentially says, and it's on mail, right? Okay. And there was a big argument about it. The trouble is, it's not supported at all. There was this plan to have this property and have it supported, and have it show up everywhere, so that people would realize that human is, in other words, you don't use person for humans, right? Right now, it's stuck on the description, and it's stuck on a very short description, and it's very hard to figure out what it really means. And only a few classes have these things. So we go up in the class hierarchy to these more general things. It's very hard to figure out what belongs to them as what doesn't belong to them. So it's no surprise that people use them the wrong way. Because, you know, the people in this room, or metaphorically in this room, may understand that geographic location is used for a particular purpose. But even me, who well, I think I have a fairly good background in representing things, don't know the answer to that. Or at least it, re it requires me to spend at least an hour of effort to get a good answer to that. And that's, not, that's really not scalable. Right? So, so, yeah, I'm not asking for nothing. I'm asking for lots of things. But the trouble is, I mean, I think, well, I think I'm important. But anyway, you can ignore me. Um, I think that I'm a pretty good use case for Wikidata. I really want not just a bit of Wikidata. I want a lot of it, right? And I work for a very big company but the part of that company that needs or wants or cares about Wikidata is quite small, right? So if I worked for a company that really cared about data and was willing to put hundreds of millions of dollars into curating Wikidata and put it into their own knowledge graph, using Wikidata would be no problem. My company perhaps has a million dollars to take Wikidata and put it into knowledge graph. A million dollars doesn't go very far these days, right? Um, so the problem, and, and let me say something that actually isn't in the slides, but which I really firmly believe in. The problem with Wikidata not, the Wikidata is great, but to really use it, you have to spend a lot of effort. And most companies and most individuals and most groups don't have that, can't expend that amount of effort to really use it well, okay? Um, I think that it should be that on the Wikidata side, they should try to be greater so that more people could really use it, right? And that's really, I think, the, 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 the guts of this presentation is that if Wikidata community improved Wikidata so it would be more clear as to what's going on, then more people could put information into it without making mistakes, and more people could use it without having, without having to spend a lot of time to create it. Uh, uh, all right, so we've gone through lots of this stuff, right? Um, let me just say a few things. So I've looked at a fair bit of Wikidata, and every time I look, I find a problem. That's bad. <laughs> um, there, I haven't done a quantitative study, and somebody should do a quantitative study of some of these things. It requires require a lot of work to do it. But essentially, I look at something and I find a problem, and that's not great. I find missing information, but I can't. I, I don't have anything to say about missing, adding in missing information. Yes, Dan. Oops. Yeah. With respect, you always find problems. 
<laughs> yes. <laughs> I am very good at finding problems. Actually, so, so one of the problems that I have, the, the problem with women, right? <laughs> the problem with, I didn't find the problem with women. <laughs> It turns out that a coworker, I showed her a page where I had found a different problem, and she looked at it and said, oh, woman. And so she found that problem on a page, that, on, a, on a display that I already found the problem. Right. Okay. So, um, so missing information, there just should be more information in Wikidata. There's factual errors in Wikidata, but everybody's got factual errors. Bots make it a little bit worse. There's problems with the ontology, which I think is a place that... It's, you can expend effort there and really improve quite a lot of things. And then there's also the problems with qualifiers and really temporal qualifiers. It's very hard to figure out what's true at a particular time because there's a whole bunch of temporal qualifiers that could be relevant. Which ones count and which ones get used? And are they going to stay the same? Are we going to add a new one tomorrow? So then I have to change every one of my programs, right? I really think all this kind of stuff it would be better to hide that from the consumer so that you would, Wikidata would just say, okay, you want to know what's true at, the, at time X? Here's an interface that tells you what's true at time X, all right. instead of having me to write all of this stuff. Okay. Yeah. Um. yeah it's on. I think it's on. Yeah. Um, I think um, you like the idea of what is possible with uh, Wikidata, but you you say that it's not used like your idea. Um, so if, um, from my perspective, um, Wikidata is a collection of statements from yes. persons and from machines and so on, and some might be true, some might be discuss discussable. Yeah. You can, you, what you could do would be, in, from my perspective, you could use a computational intelligence to score the statements if they are uh, widersprüchlich, uh, contradictory, yeah. or um, if they are common sense, if they are, so you could score them and then you can, could filter on the score and then you have what you wanted. P possibly, except without a, without a notion of what things mean in Wikidata, I can't even figure out whether two things are contradictory. Right. I mean, there's constraints, and that helps, but it's not a. I don't think that's a full solution. Right. Um, and common sense. Well, <laughs> I don't have much common sense, and my programmers have a lot less than I do. Right. Um, we can write a lot. We could write a lot of stuff which tries to say some things about common sense. But again, that I think I think that requires an understanding of what's going on. And yes, yeah, so Wikidata ha Wikidata has references which are supposed to be some notion of what's really supported, um, except, yes, except here's a problem, and it's very hard to see this, here's a problem with Wikidata from a while ago, this is a, a movie that's got three directors listed, The Corpse Bride, and it's got Mike Johnson twice, different Mike Johnstons, and they both have a lot of references, right? So there's a lot of references, there's a lot of things that say that Corpse Bride has got Michael John, Mike Johnson as the direct, two different Mike Johnsons as directors. And there they are. One is a director, one is a singer, right? What happened is some bot went through and accidentally did a, a bad thing in Italian Wikipedia, got the wrong thing in there, and then a bunch of other bots piled on and essentially created false references. So this is a real problem. So <laughs> seven references, right? That's really good, right? And they're, and they're, and they're not crap references, they're like, um, you know, uh, some movie databases, right? Real things, right? So, um, so that's one of the things. Here's another one. There's the Errol C, right? Um, it's list this, these are the, the biggest uh, by volume uh, lakes in the world. Um, there's the Errol C. Um, that comes from Wikidata, by the way. There's Lake Michigan Huron. I didn't realize there was a Lake Michigan Huron, and I live on one of them. <laughs> um, so here we have two problems. This is an ontological problem. What's a lake, right? And so is Lake Michigan Huron a lake? Well, don't know. Um, this one here is a temporal qualifier problem, right? Well, how big is the RLC now, right? Not 22,000 square miles. 
not 11,000 square miles, right? So, what is it? Oh, 26, sorry, 26,000 square miles, right? Um, and although this is, a, this is something from Google, of course, um, but that's um, in there. So anyway, I got a bunch of other things along these lines, okay, which you can see if you care, but I've given you my suggestions already, and you can either like my suggestions or not, but I've, whoa, <laughs> um, I think I've sort of supported some things. So anyway, I had questions in the middle, and we are done, or are we having a question or not? Yeah, we're done. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <All right. laughs> That's it. Yeah. Yes.